Before my love for European cars, I have to say in my childhood, I was a hardcore JDM enthusiast. And when I used to play Need for Speed, I have to say my car of choice was always a Lancer Evo. Today I'm standing beside what is probably my childhood hero. This over here is a Mitsubishi Lancer Evo 10. This particular one has been tuned to over 650 wheel horsepower. This build has been done by CarMed Bangalore and Code 6 Bangalore. And I'm going to tell you all about this insane build today. Before we get into the mods, and I have to say the mod list is as long as an encyclopedia, I wanted to talk about the looks because there is something about Japanese cars that is just very exciting, it's very unique. I know I am a big European uh, fanboy right now, but when I look at a Lancer Evo 10, there is a certain child in me that gets very excited. And that's because of just the design language that the Japanese implement. I mean, just look at it, it looks so aggressive and it looks like a 12 year old has designed it and that is the best part about it. I mean, from the front you have this massive grill over here which uh, lets a lot of air into the intercooler and the radiator and stuff. You have a NACA duct over here on the hood which looks super aggressive. You also have these air vents to let some of the hot air out. Go over to the side and the first thing that you'll notice is the tasty looking BBS XR wheels that the owner has put which looks absolutely stunning. And go to the rear and of course you cannot miss the massive rally inspired uh, spoiler at the rear. It is absolutely gigantic. Go down and you'll have a dual tip exhaust setup and you have a little diffuser. Uh, the Evo 10 looks drastically different to uh, all of its predecessors. No other Evo looks like this. The Evo 7, 8, 9 looks similar. The Evo 4, 5, 6 looks similar. But the Evo 10 looks completely unique, completely distinct from all of its other family members. Now there is something completely different in the Lancer Evo 10 that most of its predecessors do not have and it's the engine. If I'm not wrong, all Lancer Evos had the 4G63T engine, which is a legendary engine that has come out of Japan. So many rally cars, so many tuners, so many enthusiasts absolutely love that engine. And it has to be one of the greatest turbocharged four-cylinder engines ever made. This isn't that engine though. This is the 4B11T. It has two liters of displacement, a turbocharger, and of course, it's an inline four. Now, According to where you stay or which country you are from, uh, the 4B11T had a couple of different variants uh, and the power levels were shifted according to that. So this in India, if I'm not wrong, came with 290 HP. And this, of course, is not at 290 HP at the moment. It's running 652 wheel horsepower. And that is because Code 6 Bangalore and Carmen Bangalore have done insane amounts of work to get this car where it is at the moment. So Code 6 and Carmen have left no stone unturned on this car. This is a completely built engine. And even the displacement has gone up. Stock, two liters of displacement. Now it is 2.4 liters of displacement. And when it comes to the mods, I will have to pull out my phone because the mod list is so extensive that even if I sit for one whole day to just remember everything, I'm pretty sure I won't be able to remember it. This is harder than any board exam that I've ever given. So it's running a 2.4 liter petrol built engine, code 6 tuning performance ECU tune, Darton wet sleeves, Manly bullet 94mm stroker crank. CP 90mm custom pistons, Manly TT I beam steel connecting rods, GSC S2 cams, GSC Beehive springs with titanium retainers, GSC intake valves plus 1mm, GSC super alloy plus 1mm exhaust valves, ACL bearings, ARP studs and bolts, SSP oil cooler upgrade, MAP investment cast manifold, precision turbo, ported compressor cover 4 inch inlet 2.5 uh, inch outlet, turbo smart comp gate 40 external waste gate, grim speed 3 pot boost controller, MA performance insulated hard pipe UICP LICP, AGP intercooler, injector dynamics ID 1300X fuel injectors, updated fuel injector and pump relays. 
Walbro 450 LPH with custom fuel basket and return Dietzschwerk's universal fuel pump hardware kit AEM fuel pressure regulator driven fabrication catch can coolant expansion tank AEM gun metal cold air intake system Synapse DV series diverter valve MAP downpipe with RHD changes 3 inch code 6 tuning performance exhaust system Dodson Sportsman 12 plate clutch upgrade white line adjustable 27 mm sway bar kit front and rear white line roll center kit racing line sway bars AEM AFR boost oil pressure sensors and gauges I mean that list is way too long and combine all of what I've just said together this thing is capable of making 652 wheel horsepower and 581 wheel newton meters of torque which has been dyno verified if I'm not wrong and the other thing is there's no reason to be scared of all of that power because once I hop into the interior I'll explain a little bit more so why shouldn't you be scared of putting down all of that power well it's because this thing actually does not have a manual transmission in fact it has a twin clutch SSD transmission which is basically a dual clutch and it's connected to an all-wheel drive system just like how all Evos are and that makes it insanely fast off of the line you can put down all of that 652 wheel horsepower without any sort of hassle and because again the tires are super sticky you have Michelin Pilot Sport 5 tires which have loads of grip and you also have big ass Brembo brakes which help stop the car in an instant and in the inside well it feels very nostalgic it feels very old school analog and that's because well this car is now i guess over 10 years old the interior does feel like it but i don't mind it because the nostalgia that this interior has is just very special uh, up front you have a nice looking three spoke steering wheel with uh, paddle shifters which actually feel very nice uh, you also have a very analog looking instrument cluster with a tachometer and a big speedometer uh, you have your gear selector in the middle and if I'm not wrong this little switch over here is for how aggressive you want your shifts to be you also have a couple of aftermarket stuff going on inside the car you have uh, two AEM gauges over here one is for your oil pressure and one is your boost uh, pressure and you get these lovely sport bucket seats from Recaro and if you believe it or not this is from factory and believe it or not this is still a very practical car you have four comfortable seats so you can take your family wherever you want and you still have a pretty usable boot as well which can hold quite a lot of luggage there are a couple of more cool and quirky features that the Evo 10 has for example if you want to put it into drive reverse or neutral you don't have a conventional button over here on the uh, lever for the gear shifter instead press on the brake pull this up and then take it back which is really really cool you also have your uh, all-wheel drive control button over here so I'm guessing it has a couple of different modes for its all-wheel drive system so you can shift the bias of how much power is going to the front or the rear you also have your ASC button off over here and you have your AFS button off over here and I'm not too sure which is which for traction but regardless really cool couple of features It is very unfortunate that Mitsubishi is not what it was just a decade ago and it is also very sad to know that this was Mitsubishi's last hurrah for the Evo models and this is such an iconic car and the predecessors were even more iconic in my opinion and it is great to see that a lot of enthusiasts are still clinging on to what is probably one of the greatest rally inspired road cars ever made and this Evo 10 is probably insanity on the road with 652 wheel horsepower 
and a big shout out goes to Carmed uh, and Code Six Bangalore for letting us shoot their car. This is a really, really rare car to find in India. Although we have covered one previously on the channel, but it was nowhere near as well built as this thing over here. So do check out Carmed Bangalore and Code Six Bangalore as well, and subscribe to our channel. Comment down below what you think of this Evo 10 build, and I'll catch you in the next one. Bye bye.